okay, I'll do the video on the Ben Affleck controversy, which recently come out. So recently, one of the most credible and reliable sources, Daniel Rickman, aka Daniel RPK brought up some really, really old news about the Ben Affleck HBO Max series, which was kind of going to be more of a movie from what I heard. So let's talk about it. Yo, what's do you freaking lied? No, I didn't. It's funny how now people are believing me because Daniel Rickman has said something officially. Let's break it down. But this is a really old story going back over a year. So yo, what is good YouTube? What's you here? If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the videos. Check us out on Instagram if you want to see the face behind the voice. And let me you know does the voice match up with the face at war stew check us out on twitter war stew g right let's get into this uh, video so as we know ben affleck is back in the flash movie as the flash no i'm joking he's actually playing batman the main batman of dceu so he's officially back in that and also he should be it's not being concurrently confirmed officially but from what i'm hearing he's on the set of the batgirl movie to be batman in the batgirl movie on HBO Max, but he's done and dusted after the Flash movie. A lot of you guys in the comments can be like, he's gonna die in the Flash movie because one of the most unreliable fake scoopers said so. But then he said he's not gonna die, but then he is gonna die, but then he isn't gonna die, but then he literally said all these Spider-Man stuff and he was the first one to call it. No, I hate it when these super duper scoopers claim credibility and claim they were the first person to say it. So Rickman recently said that Mr. Ben Affleck rejected the HBO Max series that he was offered. Now, it's worth saying that this happened before the whole AT&T being bought out kind of a merger with Discovery. Now, what is not known by the general public and what I've been told, I've been told I can say this, is yes, Ben was offered it, but that does not mean this is off the table. There is reasons why Ben Affleck rejected this supposed offer. Now, I've only vetted this with one source, but this one source was the same source that told me about the Snyder Cut stuff. So let's just roll with it. So apparently the reason he actually rejected the project, and this is the reason why Joe Manganiello has pretty much says he thinks he's done with the Deathstroke role is because he doesn't believe it's going to come back around. Because if you remember, it was going to be Jared Leto, Deathstroke Joe Manganiello, etc. in this movie stroke series on HBO Max, which was going to kind of be more of a one and done like three part series or maybe six part. But it was going to be like the Snyder Cut. Essentially, it was going to make one movie was because he was offered the role to do the movie. But here's the stinger. And here is why. Now, I believe this because I believe Ben Affleck isn't just about the money. I believe he's got credit. I believe he's loyal and all this kind of stuff is the reason I was told why Ben turned down the role was because he wanted you guessed it actually comment down below what, what the reason is you get it yeah apparently Zack Snyder wasn't going to be attached or had nothing to do with this why would he turn down this role because zach literally casted him for bvs justice league he's loyal to zach he wanted zach to be part of this story because essentially it was going to be part of the snyder cup snyderverse if you like so that is the reason why we all know thanks to olivia j olivia originally ben had a plan I was working with Ben Affleck personally, just prior to him leaving the project. Not once did he seem like he didn't want to be Batman. His vision of Batman in his solo movie would have made fans proud. And this is the same segment where it was said that Jay Olivia said fans would have been proud of Ben's film and it was the best Batman script she ever read and it was a very good idea. So he left the project, still wants to be Batman. They bring in a new Batman, but it's not actually a new Batman because it's going to be a different Earth. Robin Pattinson, we can't wait for that movie it's going to be sick so ben still wants to be batman i don't really get why people can't get this around their head is he's coming back for the flash movie they rewrote part of the movie for him because he wasn't happy they went back to him they went to him but warner bros wants nothing to do with him that's the false narrative the internet wants you to believe so let me get this straight warner bros wants nothing to do with Batfleck, yet that he's in the Flash movie and he's going to be part of HBO Max's Batgirl series, yet Warner Bros. wants nothing to do with him. Okay, that is interesting. Not only that, the head of Warner Media said that BBS is iconic. So, Warner Brothers do want something to do with Ben Affleck, but Ben Affleck didn't, wouldn't, he would not compromise his loyalty to Zack, and he wanted Zack to work on this project with him, hence why he turned it down. Now, like I said, this was before the Discovery merger talks were going 
going on behind the scenes. So is this project still going to happen? Yes, it could still happen. But at the moment, and this is the reason why I've not really spoke about Batfleck recently, is because it's pretty obvious that he is still the DCU Batman because he's in the Flash movie, because he's in Batgirl. But at the moment, until the merger goes through early next year, April-ish, they can't green light any new projects at all. There's been no movies, no movies have been verified at all at dc fandom event was there any new movies no was there realistically anything new that wasn't already rumored no i wonder why i wonder why well because until this merger goes through they can't green light anything so is ben affleck done in the dcu no is he going to be going on past the flash movie yes from what we understand from what we know they can't be inferring to michael keaton who is currently doing vulture work because batman is currently on the set of the batgirl movie stroke series so it's got to be ben affleck now i've only had it ve i've only vetted it by one person that it is ben affleck but i trust the said source of where the info is coming from so this is why i've delayed talking about this because realistically yes dan rickman was right but fleck did deny and did turn down the project but because he wanted Zack Snyder etc part of the DCEU to be involved with this project so that is I guess is a Batfleck update but is he going anywhere no just like Jay Olivia said he wasn't happy to leave the project he didn't want to leave being Batman his kid absolutely loved him being Batman why would he walk away it made absolutely no sense and the narrative of people believing that this is the reason why this information is real is kind of it's foreign to me so that is why Joe Manganiello keeps saying yeah yeah, I'm pretty much done with it. But up until recently, Joe Manganiello was basically talking about the Batman project with Ben Affleck like it was set in stone. The script was literally online for this at one point. So we know the project exists. But what I find funny, and like I said in the prologue, no one, believe me, you guys mean me. You guys kept saying, what is you? You're making shit up. But now because Rickman said Affleck turned the project down, all of a sudden, it's actually, it was real and it was on the table and Warner Bros want Batfleck because they know how freaking popular he is. You see my point here. Anything can change. And as I said, at the moment, we know David said this. I want to bring talent back. I want to be creative back. So what's he going to do? He's going to rock up and be like, yo, Zach, please work with Ben. Let's do this HBO Max Batflex series. Cool. Let's do Justice League 2, 3. Cool. It all will be restored. But that's not set in stone. Things change. Things move. But what is constant here is Warner Brothers have this vendetta. 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 Against Zack Snyder. But they are still hiring. Hiring Ben Affleck. Like Batman because he is loved and because in my opinion the warehouse fight is the best scene we've ever had from Batman. I see the comments on that video. You're wrong. You're wrong. But you're entitled to your opinion. You're entitled to your opinion. So they do want to work with him. They want this serious badly. But he ain't going to compromise his morals. He says no. Until Zack Snyder comes back, no chance. And Warner Bros have this vendetta against Zack Snyder. But what knows, God knows what reason. Even though the Zack Snyder Just Seeg was 2021's most talked about movie. And that's even when you consider Spider-Man 3. It's more talked about than that. Yeah, that's very interesting. You know how talked about that is. Just imagine if the Zack Snyder Justice League movie was actually a movie, it would have made a lot more money. And the fact that Zack Snyder Justice League movie has been number one, it keeps hitting number one, smash 4K Blu-ray sales, and the fact that it's in the top 10, it's the only comic book movie to make the top 10 best movies of 2021. You get my point. The Snyderverse is going to be restored. Now, I don't want to keep making Snyderverse-based videos, but you guys keep blowing up the DMs on Instagram at War Stew, and then I've got to keep making content like this, or else it looks bad on me that I'm not covering stories even though this is a very old story i give you a little update of where it's at now as far as i know ben is still on the table but there's no talks at the moment until david comes through and starts talks again with zach and ben because zach snyder created this whole character this whole universe and ben wants to work with zach on a bat flex series and joe Manangelo and gerald leto joker etc and it very well could happen but this is as much as information as i can tell you from what i know so like always guys check us out on instagram at Wall Street if you want to see the beautiful face behind the voice. Yes, I just said that. Also, check us out on Twitter. Wall Street G, and I will catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later.